Hello everyone and welcome back to TNT. We're going to be doing things slightly differently this evening in that we will not be joined by dear Tommy tonight. Uh, our state has finally gone under a shelter-in-place order due to all the shenanigans outside and thus Tommy is staying home and I am staying home. So tonight we will be joined by a different T. Everybody say <laughs> hello to my darling girlfriend Taylor. Taylor, say hello. Hello. Hello, there she is. Yes, yeah, so, yes. Now you get uh, stunning commentary from a stunning lady uh -huh. instead. Oh, flatterer. Oh, yeah. No, I learned. It takes me a while, but I get there. Yeah, you, yeah, you learn pretty quickly. Oh, thank you. So, in the spirit of pandemics and whatnot, welcome to Last of Us, because... <laughs> because I perfect. see your Corona outbreak and raise you one zombie apocalypse. <laughs> But legit, this is one of my favorite games of all time. It is just, it's some of the best storytelling I've seen in mm -hmm. like movies, books, video games, anything. It's just so high caliber. Wait, you've played this, right? It's been like three years. It's been a while. I don't remember all the details, but it's I remember been a while loving it. Since I played. Anyway, um, I was gonna, oh oh. The other reason that I wanted to play this game is because I forgot until very recently the sequel. Last of Us 2 oh, it comes right. out in like two months. That like, soon? Yeah, like May 20 something. I just looked it up on Amazon oh. because I might, might, might pre order it. That's, well, what? It's Last of Us. So we're going to do a new game, even though I've played. Oh God, how many times have I beaten this game? I don't even know. Have you done Grounded? Oh God, no. <laughs> like, I'll admit, this game, I, I've played it often enough that I should be really good at it, but like, even on hard mode, I was having difficulties. Like,. Yeah, I'll try it on hard, at least. I won't go any higher than that, just because I'm a big swinging puss. I can't remember. If you're in the middle of the game, can you, like... I don't know! Change over? Oh, okay. Well, I suppose we'll find out if I uh, end up dying over and over again. I believe in you. Oh, thank you. I, I don't. God. I struggled with a, while, for, with a while. For a while with this, like, should I play this game now with everything that's going on? And then... <laughs> It was, it was my mom who said, like, why not? Everybody's watching, like, Resident Evil and Outbreak and shit. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a really good point, actually. <laughs> so, yay, pandemic game during pandemic. <laughs> also, everybody go wash your hands just right now. Go wash your fucking hands. Twice. Twice. I couldn't tell if something was happening. I'm pretty sure the noises I was just hearing outside were all um, goddamn yeah, neighbors. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Nobody dog. It's weird, weird for me to think that Naughty Dog is the same company who made Crash Bandicoot. Oh, that's Tommy. right. Tommy, Tommy, listen to me. He, oh, he knows a Tommy, Tommy too. <laughs> <laughs> lose this job. I, I understand. That's such brother talk. Yeah. Like, I'm not fucking talking to you right now. Shut up. Just shut up. A neighbor, huh? What are you still doing up? It's late. Crud, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. It's still today. How old is, is the daughter supposed to be, do you know? Oh gosh, I don't know. Like, like 13? I was gonna say, somewhere between like 12 and 14. Yeah. Your birthday? That look. Kept complaining your back broke in the while. So, uh, she did, you know? You like it? Oh, I mean, this is. It's yeah. nice, but I, I think it's stuck. It's not. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, That's gonna be me as a dad someday. Yeah. Just yeah. every opportunity to troll the kid. I sell hardcore drugs. I sell hardcore <laughs> drugs. <laughs> that is a good re retort to that. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I can tell already. This fucking intro is gonna make me cry. I just know it every time every with this time. game. Every damn time. There's so much in this game that just brings on the tears. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel it. it There's such real seeming characters. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't, like you don't get that a lot in in, in zombie games. I feel you really and don't. Or zombie movies. It's all about the. Um, okay, not all, all of them. Obviously, some of them are much more story laden. But it's it's more about the the blood and the gore. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why. Like, and I've I've fallen prey to it as well. But like. 
the whole thing, you know, like all the shooter games that have zombie modes in it, and like, you know, movies like uh, Resident Evil, and um, tell me, what time is it? other ones where it's just like, you know, blam, 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 all the time, where it's okay. like, Uncle, something about the zombie apocalypse, does it make it okay to shoot at people? Is that why everybody inherently likes it? I don't know. But, like, I'm guilty of it. Fucking, I can't count the number of hours I've sunk into, like, Left for Dead and things like oh, that. Oh, I know, I know. Did you ever play... I think I asked you this before. Hmm. Did you ever play that anime... God, okay. I'm starting over. <laughs> Did you ever play The Walking Dead? No, oh, are you talking the Telltale Games the Telltale one? Telltale Game ones. No, I haven't played any of the Telltale Games. I think games. you'd enjoy that. Probably, that's yeah, because another... that's, like, it's all choice-laden and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, that's another one maybe where... Maybe that's the... the one we could play in the jail. I... Oh, my yeah. God, look at that birthday card. Congratulations! Oh. You're not a fossil yet. <laughs> oh my god, I love that one. You're never... Dear Dad, let's see. You're never around. You hate the music I'm into. You practically despise the movies I like. And yet somehow you still manage to be the best dad every year. How do you do that? Oh, That's super sweet. At first I was going to be like, Jesus Christ, Sarah. Just cut him to the <laughs> bone, why don't you? <laughs> ah, person! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, fucking love this game. Dad. Dad. Talking about a zombie walking into him, oh, right? Yeah. It was in this room. That is the shitter. One of the wooden, wooden legs. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Admittance spikes at area hospitals to eight hundred, three hundred percent, eight hundred percent, three hundred, three hundred percent increase due to mysterious infection. This is why you wash your hands, people. <laughs> Social distancing. It is not worth it. If your friend invites you over for a barbecue, call him irresponsible and stay home. <laughs> or both of you barbecue at your own places and <laughs> Just FaceTime one another <laughs> while cooking. <laughs> my, my burgers smell way better than your burgers, bro. <laughs> no, -uh, bro, they don't. Too bad you never know. Oof. Oh, my lord. I just went like a little bit Texan there. The, the game's <laughs> starting to rub off on me. Oh, my lord. I didn't take it time at all. It was like when I was in uh, Australia and New Zealand. There were a couple times, you know, I'd say like the most benign things. And I'd have a little bit of, a, of an accent, especially in New Zealand. It really got me. <laughs> it's not probably a very good accent, but it was still there. And it didn't leave for quite a while. Oh, they make me want to watch Lord of the Rings. Ooh. Oh, I love those movies. Hey, you know, it's a perfect time to binge them. That it is. It sucks that you two have to work from home, and then I'm just kind of like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah rub it in. Yeah, right, well, that's okay. It's okay, you know what, I'm just glad I get to be home working. That's true. And now I feel like you're falling behind, because when I get back, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Only when I'm home. I do like... That is an old-ass phone. What? Yes, it is. I like that this game makes it seem a little more realistic with just, like, the small details like that. Mm-hmm. Going to be home late tonight. Go ahead and order food. See you in the morning, Dad. What kind of details? Oh, that Oof. doggo didn't have a good time. Ooh. Why is the tire swing swinging? Um... Small details. I like. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Here you are. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Did anyone come in here? No one would come in here. Don't go near the door. Just, just stand back just there. Go ahead and. Dad, you're kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Cooper's. It's only my little man. They're sick. I'm kind of sick. <laughs> Oh, he is covered in blood. Yes, he is. Jimmy, I am warning you. That got me like the throat. Someone's traumatized. Uh, yeah. God, I just, I have no idea what I would do in this kind of situation. Oh, God, me neither. Like, 
I don't know, everybody like jokes about having their zombie survival kit and all that stuff. And I always like laugh at it, but it's like, what the fuck would I do? What would I do? I mean, you can prepare as much as you want, but like when You'll it comes down know. to it, it's just, yeah. What are you going to do in that moment as you react to the like, mm-hmm. developing situation? Oof. I mean, first thing I do, check on the parents, check on my brother, mm-hmm. see how things are going. I'm kind of bummed that your family's further away. If shit were to go down, it'd be a trek to get out to them. Yeah, we could meet halfway though. It's true. It's true. Actually, my brother's place we might make a decent hole up spot because it's kind of out of the way. Yeah. Oh, God, just it's it's scary to think about it. And I never thought about anything involving like emergency situations and whatnot until all this shit started happening with the coronavirus. Yeah. Like, and this is like it's unprecedented. It's unprecedented, but at least right now the measure that we can take is like just hole up and wait it out. Yes, absolutely. And then let things take their course. It's not like not like this. Good God. Yeah. What would I do in this situation? Yeah. I mean, to an extent, like we're all turning people are turning on each other and like they're hoarding groceries and not allowing other people but it's not like by the way i'm calling out you like, out right now if you went to the store and bought eight gigantic fucking packs of toilet oh, paper fuck you fuck you yeah it's just so dumb it's the reason all the stores are running out of everything under the goddamn sun is because everybody's panicking right and hoarding shit where if you bought stuff at the same rate or maybe at a slightly increased rate than you normally did the stores would still be able to handle it for yep. now yep I don't know. People panic and just don't use their heads. Which is why this would be so terrible. Oh, God. Like, calls like that? To have to just... Right? Where Tommy wanted to stop and Joel was just like, nuh-uh. Mm-hmm. And, like, knowing what I know about how this game goes, he probably made the right call. Yeah. But how, how in that moment... I have no idea how I would react. I've always wondered how I would be in an emergency situation... And frankly, I don't want to find out. No, no. Well, yeah, rather... everybody's... See, that's the thing that freaks me out. It's like, this is why I'm so glad I don't live in freaking Tahoe anymore. Because in Tahoe, there was like one way in and one way out. Ugh. And if something and like trapped. this went down, I never would have gotten out. And whoa, Jesus. Oof. There's a part of me that's just like, yeah, it's a good thing I own a big ass truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would make this very convenient. Eh. Well, you know, the only shitty thing about it, though, would be like if we needed to get going places. It would have been so quickly. Many. Yeah. Well, no, if the, the truck can zoom, zoom. You see how yeah. big the engine is. Yeah, I just mean in terms of like gas mileage and shit. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Oof. But at least it would be safe it'd be tanky mm-hmm. got now a you shell you hold up yeah you hmm? couldn't make a quick turn like tommy did there though couldn't no definitely not then again i could just ram people out of fucking That's way true. it's not as big as sean's truck jesus christ old iron hide i always forget that windshields are designed to come out in one piece if they have to First time I played this, I was like, what the hell? Why didn't his foot just go through it? It's the way the safety glass is designed. It's I've, supposed to do that. Hmm, I'd heard that before, but I mm-hmm. forgot. Yeah, so it doesn't shatter if you get in a car accident. Uh, I mean, obviously yeah. it still can. It's not foolproof. Oh, right, Jesus. Right. Oof. Good job, little brother. Come here, baby. Come here, come here. I love Tommy. I know he and Joel had like a falling out, but like, I love Tommy. It begins. Ah. I finally play. Ah. Okay. Then some Zambos. God, that's just terrifying to me. Like, in all the zombie movies and whatnot, it's just like one just comes out of fucking nowhere and just grabs somebody. It's like, that could be anyone. That could be me. Yeah. It's like, I'm a big dude, but, like, I don't know how to hold people off. And shit, if something jumps you and you don't see it coming, yeah. it doesn't matter how big and tough and strong you are. Like, in Tommy's case, he knows karate. 
You didn't see it coming. You ain't gonna do anything about it. No. It's the, the unexpected is what's the hardest to, to plan also, for. Also, I love the way they designed this level, because, like, there's no direction where to go. But since that theater had light, I automatically so you... went there. <laughs> and it's like, duh, duh, duh. Ooh, look, more design. light. And it just kind of, like, mm -hmm. never mind. Oh, wait, yes. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Fuck you, trash can. Fuck you, trash can. Fuck you, trash can. <laughs> duh! Oh. That's such a smart way to do it, too, like zombie wise. Mm -hmm. Knock him over, stand on him so he can't move, cap him. Yep. I just, I love that this game is like almost seamless and just. Do, do. Oh man. In like moving you along without like. You're not being necessarily like chased in one direction. You're not. There's, I don't know. Just, a lot of so people well would say this game is a little linear, like a lot of Naughty Dog games, like Uncharted, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, it's clear that you're supposed to be going this certain way. But I never feel like I'm being railroaded. No, same, same. It's just, I don't know, they do it with like, I don't know. It's so, so many of the, oh, so many of the shit. elements come I shouldn't have looked, Ooh. I shouldn't have looked, Ooh. he's catching up now. Oh, there's another one there. Eat each other. Eat each other. Look at that one. He looks tasty. <laughs> oh, the one coming out of the ambulance looked kind of fat. Who wants fresh child? Who wants fresh child? <laughs> Jesus. He knows it immediately. He's just like, oh god, we're in trouble. You just said you back for half, right? Yeah, like a little girl. Oh god. No. Oh. We just need your help. We just need. Oh. Oh god. I hate that. I hate that. Oh no. Oh. oh no. Sarah. <laughs> Every goddamn time. Mm-hmm. Are you okay, baby? Stay with me. God, could you imagine? I know. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby. I know. Oh, so fast. Amy. Like just the panic she must have been feeling. Mm Fucking time with this game. Oh man. Oh. What a way to start a game, too. Seriously. Definitely sets a precedent. It really does. Which they do incredibly with. God, it makes me wonder, like, my dad's always been a bit of a pessimist, and when he and I were talking when the, the shelter-in-place order got given, um, and I was just like, yeah, <laughs> you know, we were talking about how, like, uh, National Guard for California has been called in um, mm -hmm. to help with humanitarian efforts, from what I heard, um, so that they can help man important uh, situations that require extra hands right right um but it's like that's that's a short step like now that they're activated if shit goes really haywire they're already in place mm -hmm. if something like martial law were to get declared and it's like i hope it doesn't come to that just because that means that things are getting pretty crazy yeah and martial law only really needs to be declared if people as a mob are being stupid Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I'm coming. 
scary thought. It is. Yeah. And it's like, what the hell is that going to look like for us? Like, yeah. What's it going to mean to go across the street to the grocery store? Oof. Oof. How was your morning? Yeah, decent no. full bottle. Yeah. Well, that bottle went from like full and then she turned it and it looked like half empty and then she turned back and then it was like full again. <laughs> Where were you, Tess? The best kind of bottle in an apocalypse. <laughs> Never ending. Mm-hmm. We, we had a drop to make. Well, you wanted to be left alone, remember? I missed it. How much of a time skip did it say that was? 20 years. Damn. You don't want off without a hitch. Ration cards last us a couple of months, easy. Can you explain this? I was on my way back here when I got jumped by these two assholes, all right? And yeah, they got a few good hits in, but... Look, I managed. Look at that. These assholes still with us? That's funny. Let's find out who they were. Yeah, look, they were a couple of nobodies. They don't matter. What matters is that Robert God damn it, Bob. God. He's not smart enough. I know where he's hiding. Like who you do. Old warehouse in Area 5. Can't say for how long, though. Well, Can you imagine job. living like that for 20 years? <sighs> that would be if... if, if Martial law went into effect, or, or like things crumbled and everything went like this right now. And then 20 years passed and we were still living like that. I'd be 50. Damn, yeah. I'd be one old crotchety motherfucker. Like I'm already Look like Joel. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just more Californian. <laughs> Those voices sounded familiar. Her, I, yeah. So, it I'm almost sounded to... like freaking Laura and Travis from Critical Role. <laughs> then again, everything we watch, we hear a voice, we're like, oh, is that somebody from Critical Role? Yeah, well, you know what? It's like, half the time it I is. I was going to say, like, 75% <laughs> of the time, we're not wrong. And I bet they voice oh, various they gotta characters be in this game. this. Oh, they gotta be. Yeah. I'm going to look it up. Well, yeah. Game, just such ambiance. It's definitely got a certain aesthetic that it pulls off very well. Mm hmm. Well, they're still flying the American flag there. It's like, at this point, would there even be a discernible <laughs> America? Right. <laughs> Laura Bailey. Additional voices. Yup. That was probably her. I don't see anything about Travis, though. Hmm. Oh wait, that wasn't even the full cast. Yeah, Oof! Big Abuma. God, they made me jump. Josh Keaton. Oh, oh, Matt Mercer. Of course Matt Mercer's in this. Additional voices. Lord have mercy. Liam O'Brien. Oh my god. Sam Regal. <laughs> oh my god. So literally, literally just everyone. the entire cast of Critical Role. Yep. So I don't see... There's Travis. There he is. <laughs> yep. And of course Ashley. I was going to say, please don't throw your cell phone onto the table next to the microphone. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've done some dumb things, but I won't. Outside. Oh, no. Cute. 
Tess. You see that shit? I was there. I got the tunnel looking. Yeah, it's clear. I just used it. No patrols. So where are you off to? Been up here robbing the dude. You too? Who else is looking for him? Uh, Marlene. She's been asking around, trying to find him. Marlene? What do the Fireflies need with Robert? You think she'd tell me? Well, what did you tell her? The truth. I got no idea where he's hiding. Good man. Hey, you stay out of trouble, all right? Military's gonna be out in force soon. Yeah, see you around. Do you recall how much time has passed? between the games I don't know actually because like Last of Us originally came out on PS3 mm -hmm. and then remastered on well, PS4 that's true I meant oh oh storyline wise story I have no but... idea I know that all I know okay. is that Ellie looks a Much lot older, older. she's probably I don't know I guess like early to mid 20s in the new new game oh, really I mean it's what she looks like because she's like 14 Teen in this one? Something like that? So I guess like a decade or so? I'm gonna look that up too, because now I'm curious. Joel, you may have By the power of Google. Hey, while you're doing that, um, look up, because like, I think they based these zombies off of something that exists in real life. So there's like some fungus or something that um, infects things like ants. Interesting. Okay. And it and it destroys part of their brain, and they're like kind of zombified. And I think that's what they're basing the spores in this game off of. I think. Oh, okay, I'll look that up. In the meantime, mm -hmm. uh, set five years after The Last of Us. Really? Is it? And Ellie is only nineteen. Huh. But yeah, so she's getting old. Getting old. I mean, I'm sure she was aged immensely based on the events of the first game. That's true. Anyway, okay, hold on, let me look. Mm -hmm. I love that this game places such a big emphasis on like, you got your back, you're gonna need your back. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, you kind of do. Yep. Uh, blah, 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 and cannibalistic creatures infected by a mutated strain of the cordyceps fungus. Mm-hmm. Is a genus of something fungi that includes about 400 species. Fungi. Um, yeah. Just kidding. I had a, I had a yeah, um, right. science teacher, biology teacher back in high school. You know, it was fungus, but he always pronounced the uh, the plural as fungi. It's mm -hmm. like, it's fungi. I'm a fun guy. It's not fun guy. And I was like, oh my <laughs> oh, fucking man. god. It's creepy enough having that teacher in, in my high school because he had been there long enough that he had taught my mom when she was wow. a student there. <laughs> so he like kind of recognized my last name when I said like, oh yeah, I think you taught my mom. He got this look at his face of like, fuck, I need to retire. <laughs> Doing this too long. I was, uh, I was getting too old for this shit. <laughs> There's a lot of that in, in, in the town where I grew up because it's just like... It's a small town. Oh my God, it was. Everybody knows everybody. It's, it's, it, it started getting a little incestuous after a while. <laughs> Is there something you're not telling me? <laughs> What, something I'm not telling you? Well, I only have a brother, so... <laughs> Unless I'm... <laughs> ah, never mind. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna take that journey further. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it. I'm only a little bit behind. It's true. I think the ambulances are too late for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, jeez. We get so many ambulances going by our apartment. It's fucking ridiculous. This would be a really... This is a decent spot to live, other than those... Damn. Oh, damn ambuli. Ambuli. <laughs> well, a... I, tried over there. I guess it's a I good thing we know. Thanks. There's plenty of them around. Yeah, it's better than not having enough of them. God, this game is pretty. Definitely is. Press triangle to play. Ladies first. Ladies. When this eventually gets remastered for the PS5 or 6 or whatever, <laughs> I'm sure that'll be... Yeah, like... they'll just remaster the part 2. Yeah. They won't touch this one again, I bet. That's true, because this has already been... <gasps> Damn it. Yeah. Stupid hiccups. Oh, there we go. So nothing other than holding your breath helps you get rid of those? 
I mean... Like, if some month, some zombie were to jump out right now and startle you, would that have done it? I can't say that I've practiced it terribly many times, no. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I feel like every cure for hiccups that everyone ever swears yeah. by is mm-hmm. something more intense than holding your breath. So if holding my breath works for me, yeah, then... why would I ever try anything else? That is a very fair response. Nice. What's that next shipment do? We'll meet Bill next. Besides, people know I do not react well to being no, scared. No. Just watch our Bioshock playthrough and you'll know that I hate <laughs> being scared. My first instinct every time is just, Duh, something scary, punch it! Mm-hmm. So. That's why I was kind of surprised when you said that you wanted to play this. This game doesn't scare me. Maybe it's because I've played through it enough times. Like, there's a few jump scare moments. Yeah, it's but... more psychological than it is mm-hmm. anything else. I love it. It's like, there's our culprit. And be like, there's another one right here. And be like, hey, you know, you know which one did it. Should be able to fit through here. All right, Hercules, pick it up. Good job. You okay? Yeah. Sam Steelers falling apart. Be careful. This way. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't like these moments. Claustrophobic mm-hmm. moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think, darling? Put him out of his misery. I always put him out of his misery every time, too. I was just say, I've no, I don't think I've not. What do you, what happens? Is you just, just walk away, because you just, you want to save your bullets. Yeah. And he's just slowly going to turn into a Zambo. Probably end up killing him later, then. Mm-hmm. R1 to focus Joel's hearing. Oof. It's interesting to think that the zombie would still be affected by being choked out. I guess it's more because it's the... um, The kind of zombie we were talking about where it's... uh, fungal infection rather than like oh it's risen from the grave yeah yeah it's still vaguely human yeah it's still a living thing Mm -hmm. you just enjoy your man witch I'm just gonna (laughs) go long my way I stole that joke from zombie land I love that movie it has been years since I've seen that oh god we should watch it we should I like that movie I never did go see the sequel, did you? No, I did not. No, that's something we're going to have to look into. Freaking isn't it like Luke Wilson in it or something? I think so? I don't know, all I heard was that it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my god, what the hell is the name of the actress in that movie? You, Emma something. You know I'm bad about names. Emma, so. Emma, Emma, ah, whatever. She's awesome. I think she kicks ass. Okay, cool. I walked into that room. Fucking. <laughs> Do I get out here? I'm lost! Oh. Where am I supposed to go? Oh my god. I was just talking about how I've beaten this game like three times. I heckin' bamboozled myself. Ooh, there's something over there. Oh, my health is full. Ooh, this yeah, music. baby, let's snuggle. <laughs> Knows the zombie apocalypse is a good time for romance. Yeah. Hey, baby, I hear the human population's been going down. Shall we rectify that? <laughs> Anybody up here? Nope. These lovely red walls look bloody. Astute observation. Thank you. But the red walls look bloody. I mean, I. I had to reach for that. But. Mm-hmm, yeah, no, this, this is the quality commentary that people come here for. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We've got to provide for the people. Note to brother. Let's read that. 
We were so close. I'm sitting outside the walls knowing I'll never see the inside of the zone. While waiting for the smuggler to show up, we heard a squad of soldiers approaching. In our panic, we ducked into this building in hopes of hiding from them. None of us noticed the spores until it was too late. We're all infective. We have a few hours, maybe a day at most. I hope the smuggler is still coming so that I can at least pass this note to you. Should have listened to you and come to the zone with you when I had the chance. Now it's too late. Aww. Aww. Take care, Mark. Rip Mark. The danger zone. Sorry, I ruined the moment. Danger zone. That's what I was going for. Oh, Kenny Loggins. Okay. Oh, I know my pants are all soggy. So did they like build those massive ass walls to like block out all the infected? Probably as much as they could. That's crazy. Man. All right. We're supposed to be going over here. You know, seeing it right here, it's like painfully obvious that that's the way in. But from like back here, I legit didn't see it. They, it blends in really well. Mm -hmm. I got it. I'm sure. Oh, they're such an old married that. couple. Yes, they are. Okay. Well, shall we call this part one then and come back to this later? Sounds good. All right. Well. All right. Thank you for joining us for our introduction to Last of Us. Um, yes. If I have my way, I'm going to burn through this entire game during this <laughs> time of shelter in place. So we'll see how well we do. So, stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned and watch me get eaten by zombies, probably. Uh, so yeah, uh, everybody keep safe. Stay indoors. Wash your fucking hands. <laughs>